Hey y'all. So today we're gonna talk to y'all about our trip up to Maine. Um, spoiler alert, we're in Maine and we've been here for a month. <laughs> but uh, we're actually on our way out of Maine, but on the way up we didn't do a lot of, we didn't talk about our trip up here on video. We did get some clips. So I'm gonna talk to y'all about it now. Yeah, we're gonna put everything together and make a video. <laughs> Hopefully it'll work out. <laughs> ah, it will. Uh, first of all, Maine is beautiful. <laughs> and uh, we have loved it. Uh, it's really cold right now. Yeah, you can tell. It's October, what, the 4th or 5th? October somewhere. 4th. And, uh, yeah, I'm freezing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Me too. So, so um, where we left off, we were at home. We went home for a few days. Mm -hmm. From the Outer Banks, yeah. Yeah. And we visited with my fam well, we stayed at my parents' house and we visited Michael's family and my grandparents and uh, some aunts and uncles. Took I care can't of some, remember who else. I registered. But yeah, we had to both do like car registration and all that stuff. All that good stuff, yeah. So we had fun with all our family and then. Um, oh. We also got the Reese hitch put on the back of the camper <clears throat> and upfitted that. So, meanwhile. Yeah, so that means we could haul the bikes on the back of the camper instead of on my car. That was the goal, yeah. Yeah. So, we set out to leave. Um, I think it was a Thursday. Thursday yeah, afternoon. Yeah. And my brother's dog was there at my parents' house, and it would it got out of the pen, and we could not get it him back. It is like back. the scaredest American bulldog you've ever seen in your life. It's and really he runs cute. From everybody, and we had fun with him. He sounds ferocious, like you just kill everybody, but no, he's scared, he's of, scared of everything. Everybody. So we had a deal, an ordeal, trying to get him dealt with. But then my dad got home and said, "Don't worry about it; he'll be fine." So we. We left, we got about a mile down the road, and Boom. the hitch on the back of the camper broke. Fell off, yeah. And it With was all the bikes on. dragging the bikes down the road. Down the road. So I'm behind Michael, blowing the horn, waving my arms out the window like he'd never heard me. But mm. he finally heard the air going out of the bike tires. I heard a bunch of shh yeah. like that. So he stopped. What the heck, buddy? Yeah, so that that was not good. It ruined two bikes. His bike the and James' two. bike. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, that, that, there we go. Yeah, so, the newest two and the whole bunch. It like ground the wheels down. And, oh, it was, it, it was not good. <laughs> so, I mean, oh well, it could have been worse. So we just took them to the scrapyard. And then we headed to my aunt and uncle's house who has a um, welder. Yeah, my... <clears throat> so... My welder is a flux coil welder, and the I'll make it short and sweet. The high power <laughs> transformer is not working inside of the welder, or something like that. And uh, so I thought I could weld it coal. Well, it didn't work out. Great. So did not hold. <laughs> so that was <clears throat> fun. Yeah, so we really went to her hard. uncle Brian's, and I fixed it right, like I should have done the first time with a correct welder and all that good stuff. So. so, while he did that, I hung out with my Aunt Doris and her friend Cherry, who's also her neighbor. And that was really neat to get to spend time with them before we came on the road. Um, and the kids got to play with toys in the playroom and all that. They had fun. Yeah. So, we left there and uh, we needed to dump our tanks because... They we, had been full since I could cut Yeah, out. for a week. <laughs> so, they had been full for a week. So, we... Um, we were close to Mari Mountain, so we just went by Mari Mountain and dumped the tanks, and then we got on the road from there, and by that time, it was like it five was or late, six yeah. o'clock. Yep. Um, so we drove to... Um, All the way to... Fredericksburg, Virginia. Yeah. All right, hold on, this is going to be loud. Golf cart going back. <laughs> yeah, looking at us like one Okay. Freezing. So anyway, the first night, we didn't really know how far we were going to go. We were just going to drive until we couldn't drive no more. So we did. And, oh, we um, couldn't drive no more. <laughs> my mom had a friend who lives 
in uh, Fredericksburg that said we could stay right there on her land at the barn. So that's what we did. We it was stayed. awesome. We just pulled right over, backed up, slept, got up next morning, fired up about six o'clock and rolled out. Yeah. But then we had to deal with DC traffic. Um, yeah, we didn't think that through all the way. Boy. It's not a very good place to. All of that. We, so what we were doing is we were trying to get to Maine. I mean, it's late like, in the year, so we was trying to do it quick. <laughs> yeah, we was trying to get there in like two or three days, which we did. And but it cost. The tolls were outrageous. We weren't ready for well, one toll, toll was fifty dollars. Yeah, the George Washington Bridge in New York. In New York, not in the yeah. but in New York, it was fifty dollars just for him to go across, yeah. not me. Um, yeah, so the toll roads killed us. Uh, that was one stinking toll, and we went through like five. Yeah, yeah so it was pretty hard. And I didn't, you know, I did. We did not know that it was going to be. So I got a hundred dollars cash, thinking that that was going. Yeah, no. I didn't Two get stops, it. it was gone. <laughs> I was like, what? So yeah. the rest of them were like, well, we'll send the bill and you pay it a certain amount of days. So. Yeah. So, no, whatever. I know what it was. What? I try to put a dollar bill in a. Change. 75 cent <laughs> uh, toll. That, yeah, that did not work. They got like this basket. So I said, well, I'll just throw it in the basket. No. <laughs> the coins are supposed to go down and, and they're supposed to give you green light. Well, I still had a red light, but there wasn't no gate or nothing. So I said, well. I don't know what else I'm doing. I'm going to go through this thing. Yeah, so he went through. Buzzer started buzzing. I pulled up behind <laughs> him, and his dollar is still in the slot. So I'm like, okay, <laughs> I'm getting the dollar out. Well, I'm sitting there trying to figure out what to do. I'm trying to find out if I have enough change. I didn't. I had nothing. We're in the exact change line. Yeah, yeah <clears> there's <throat> no people there. Like, it's just a kiosk. Might get killed by acorns. Yeah. Acorns. Okay. Anyway, so I was sitting there trying to figure out what to do. Hold on. I went swing to that down there. I'm going to freeze. Coda. Are you not cold? Anyway, I'm sitting there trying to figure out what to do. Well, the guy behind me comes up to my window. He's like, do you need help do you, or do you need to back up? And I was like, I guess I don't have the change to go through here. And uh, he obviously knew I was not from around there. And he's like, I'll get it. So he paid for my toll and I went through and that was super kind of him to do that. But then we knew, okay, we better get some money, yeah. some cash and some change. We, what we should have done is but avoid tolls on our uh, GPS, GPS so we would not have to go through anymore. But it took us a little while to figure that out. Yeah. But we did figure that out, that we did not have to go the toll roads. But, but it was 12 extra hours. Yes, wow. long, long, long. Yeah. It added a lot of time. Hang on. Go to swing. So we finally got, after we left Fredericksburg, we got to Connecticut. Huh? In huh? a minute. Go. Go. In okay. a minute, okay? We went from Fredericks Fredericksburg to Rocky Neck State Park in Connecticut, Connecticut yeah. and we were exhausted. Right off the highway. So it's like, we'll crash here one night, and then uh, we got there, and it was super nice. So we just decided to stay two nights, and we went to town and got us. So we were close to town, too. So. What was the name of that town? Fort or something. I don't remember. Anyway, it I don't was remember what it was. Really nice port. Like there was a lot of sailboats docked out in the bay, I guess is what you call it. I can't remember where we were. Um, anyway, we stayed there for two nights and then we um, headed up to Maine and we made it all the way to Ellsworth, didn't we? Yep. We went all the way to Ellsworth, Maine. So we done some driving in three days. Yeah. Or four days. But it was worth it. I mean, we really didn't have after, well we did have a little bit more struggles with the bikes um, oh whew. and the yeah, we have <laughs> and the hitch there's a 
We're gonna we need to do a video. Well, we just talk about it right now. Right, okay. Yeah, one thing was the bikes. So in Connecticut, me and James got new bikes. Okay. So they've got the quick release wheels and all that <laughs> fancy junk on there. I didn't know nothing about it. So I didn't know to check to see if they're tight. They told me they checked in the store, so I was like, okay. Which that's a whole nother deal right there. We go in and I'm looking at this five hundred dollar bike. <clears throat> Well, it's supposedly brand new. It's scratched. It's got a big old scratch on top of it. And the wheels are dirty. And I was like, what is the deal? He said, well, I have a guy that demos. And he said, how about two ninety nine? I said, yeah. So, so anyway, so we got that bike. And James is on sale for a really good price, too. So, so we're going down the highway, okay? And I did not want the bikes back there on the back of the camper at all because it just stressed me out like I don't want to have to deal with this again it was some, I mean they're expensive bikes are expensive and so I'm watching the bikes just bounce up and down the whole way down the road I'm like this is terrible so the back of the camper bounces a lot more than I thought it did you know because it's it's hanging out so far behind the rear axles and it just on rough roads going over it's overpasses bad. it bounces a lot so so we're going down the road and I'm on the phone with him and suddenly like something happens to his bike, like the tire or something comes down and I'm like, you need to pull over. Something's, your bike, something's wrong with your bike. So we pull over and the it, front wheel is falling off. Yeah. I don't <laughs> know how it held on yeah. and didn't come off all the way. So then we start going down the road again and we're on the phone again right and you said the back tire dropped too and i said are you serious so the back tire done the same exact thing so all that is on the back of the camper is my frame of my bike <laughs> and i'm like all right that's enough of this let's just put them in there. well we went a little bit further with them still on yeah. there and then one of holden's drips came oh, flying off right. <laughs> and like hit my car and so yeah, I mean, you know, we're, like, we're running 75 this. on 95, and it's just beating and banging. The bike rack we have is not the best. We need to improve that too. But so we just decided, all right, we're gonna put them all on the camper and let them ride like that. Yep. So we did. We piled them all in there, and I felt a lot better. <laughs> <laughs> but then we got back on the road, and we had been on the highway again for about a mile, and then our bedroom window opens, going down the road. So we have to pull over again, close the window. I don't know why. I don't, it was that a little bit comes open a lot. So I tightened up the screw with a screwdriver and it tightened down, rolled on. Yep. But we made it. But I think that's all the problems we had. I mean, that could have been worse 1,200 miles. Well, also on our way to Connecticut, I was hearing a popping noise. Yeah. So every time I would turn or break i would hear like a pop and i'm like what in the world is that so um I ha we have a bnw patriot slider hitch which is super expensive hitch i mean it's nice but i really don't I, well i really don't like it just to be honest with you. <laughs> because the the it's got a little spring piece that holds it pitched back toward the fifth wheel that way when you pull up you know it's already tilted toward the fifth wheel well, that piece is just trash. Also, well, that's the main part I don't like about it. It has come unhooked on me at one point in time and slid back and kind of messed up my tailgate just yeah, a little bit. that was scary. <clears throat> that was scary. So that's two things I do not like about the hitch. And anyway, so if you have a hitch and you recently put it on your truck or have some house on your truck, you need to check the bolt for torque, right? So... We pull over, and I'm like, I wonder if maybe them bolts have come loose. Oh, there's Isaac. <clears throat> and so we get back there with a wrench, and sure enough, those bolts are loose. So we got to Connecticut, tightened all the bolts up, torqued all of them, and uh, yeah. so it's been good ever since. It's so warm in that. But that's just something you have to keep your eyes on, on and uh, pay attention to. Yep. So that's about it, right? Yeah. We, um... Uh, so we made it to Ellsworth, and I think that's where we'll pick up with our videos from here. Yep. And like, comment, and subscribe.
please. Well. Catch y'all later. Bye. Bye.